In what was likely the last town hall presentation at its current Cupertino headquarters, Apple unveiled the ramped 4-inch iPhone SE and the powerful 9.7-inch iPad Pro on March 21st. An Apple insider was there to go live hands-on with the devices after CEO Tim Cook left the stage. The main event was a smaller iPad Pro, which actually outperforms the larger 12.9-inch Pro in a number of key ways. Most notably, the new True Tone display adjusts the white point of the tablet screen compensating for the lighting of the environment around it. This is a big deal for photographers and professionals who work in imaging because you'll be able to view content in the way it's intended, no matter where you work. The new iPad Pro also has better cameras than the larger model, headlined by a 12.9 megapixel EyeSight camera that now has dedicated flash. Inside, there's a speedy desktop class A9X processor and storage capacities that now go up to a whopping 256 gigabytes. Enhancements from the 12.9-inch iPad Pro have also been brought down to the smaller form factor, including a four-speaker surround sound array, Apple Pencil support, and the magnetic smart connector with optional smart keyboard accessory. The new iPad Pro starts at $599 for 32GB of storage. Apple also went smaller with its latest iPhone, giving the 4-inch form factor some love with its new iPhone SE. With the same A9 processor and 12-megapixel camera as the flagship iPhone 6S, Apple is boasting that the iPhone SE is the most powerful 4-inch iPhone ever. Outside, it looks mostly like an iPhone 5S, though Apple did add a rose gold color option to the lineup. On the inside, Apple has added support for Apple Pay, meaning users will be able to add their credit cards and use contactless payments at supporting kiosks. Apple still got a full-fledged next-generation iPhone 7 in the works for later this year, likely in September, but the iPhone SE is expected to act as a stopgap between now and then, catering to customers who prefer a more pocketable form factor. Apple Insider will have much more on the iPad Pro and the iPhone SE in the coming weeks, including our full review. Be sure to subscribe to the Apple Insider YouTube channel to get all of the latest news, reviews, and info as it happens.